Hi, Jürgen. Um, when, right. um, when Mo collected that cross from Andy Robinson on Tuesday, running away from goal in that position as well, well, are you in a position now, probably like everybody else, where you're expecting something to happen out of nothing? And and if that is the case, have many players created that emotion in you during your managerial career? I said it a couple of times, and it's the truth. I'm blessed with incredible players, and I kind of worked together during the time um, times. And but no, when the when the ball went all, all over all. Over play, over all players in that situation, and more had to already run pretty quick to 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 get it before the sideline, um, and then he turned. It didn't look for me like a, a proper goal scoring opportunity, but um, challenge by challenge it developed in that, and um, so that's that's the situation. That what that's the difference between a moment where. Um, your momentum is not on your side, and when the momentum is on your side, we all know that. Maybe. But it's all about the quality of Mo in this moment to do it, to try it. And you can imagine how, how much all the players of Atletico knew about this ability um, and wanted to defend it desperately and still couldn't do it. Pretty special, pretty special. Yes, I had a, I'm, I'm happy, or really happy, and more than fine with the players I. I could watch through the times and um, and being quite positive when they got the ball that something special will happen. Thank you, Andy. Dave Manick and Ian Ladyman. I'm afraid I've already got all the hands up I can take from the Sundays, so uh, they, they're all into the panel now. But uh, Dave Manick. Uh, Jürgen, hi. Um, you, you, you've you've uh, you've suggested that Mo is is at that kind of world class level, and he has been for a little while now. Um, I think in, you, you look at Cristiano Ronaldo and the reason why he's regarded as one of the greats is that he has been at that level for so long and even, you know, at the age of in, well into his 30s. I was just wondering, because you've sort of said Mo looks after himself so well and he does, he, he's clear and he still has that hunger and desire. It, it, would you say that he now is ready to go on and do that, you know, perform at this level for some time now? like? Cristiano, um, and he in it, he has that ability to do that. Yes, we you need luck because that's, things can happen, injuries, stuff like this. But I think the professionalism of both is probably the one thing you can compare one hundred percent or say that's probably the same. So Mo is incredibly professional. It's like um, he's really the first, first, first in, and very, very often the last out. Of all the players, is um, constantly um, interested in all the different things he can do. He has to do um, to improve or to keep the standard or to improve the, the the standard. All these kind of things. Yeah, I I think he has still a lot to give. One hundred percent. Sorry, can I just cheekily ask? Did, was that, yeah, was that in terms of contract, Jürgen? In because obviously if he goes on to his thirty six. Then it helps, you know, contract-wise, doesn't it? Yeah, but can I ask what was not there was a question? In? It, 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 it just helps with maybe in terms of a contract. If he can go on to that level till say like Cristiano till he's 35, 36, that really helps, I guess. Him. Yeah, Mo, in terms of con <laughs> yeah. a Liverpool contract. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. It helps him for sure, and the team he's playing for then as well. And I hope it does. Thank you. Ian Layman from the Mail's finished the daily section. Hi, Jürgen. Um, you Hi. have this incredible record this season of scoring at least three goals in every away game, which is just something that I'm not sure I can remember a team doing before. But on Sunday, conversely, is it important that maybe you contribute your best defensive performance of this season, because they always seem to score goals at home, even when they don't play very well. If you don't defend well against United, I, I would know wouldn't know a reason why we should get in the coach and go there. To be honest, because it's absolutely the, the quality they have offensively is absolutely ridiculous. Um, yes, you're right. We have to consider that. But and uh, now I, I I really don't think it's very likely that you score at United um, three goals stuff like this. But um, we never 
before a game think about scoring more than we do about defending. So for us, it's 100% clear that to stay in the, to get in the game, to stay in the game, and to win a game, you have to defend on your absolute highest level. And that's you're right. We have to we have to focus on that. But not only because uh, we have to create as well. We have to we have to play football. Very important. We have to be incredibly brave. We have to be really we got brave because each ball you lose against United is a massive threat. It's a counter attack threat um, with the speed they have and all these kind of things. So um, it's a it's a proper task to play United, and uh, but we still want to do it and I'm looking forward to it um, because it's how we all know one of the biggest games in the world. So um, yeah, it will be a, a good one. Okay, thank you very much, Ian. Uh, and then we go to the Sunday section. So that's the end of that particular.